tighten up the system at the airports, but state lawmakers still have concerns over the enforcement of the 14-day quarantine order for travelers and put those concerns in a letter. Sarah Madison has more. The letters were sent to Hawaii Supreme Court Chief Justice Mark Rechtenwald and Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell. Now, we're told Caldwell was the only mayor who received the letter because many of the issues on enforcement come from Oahu. To the Chief Justice, the committee is asking he issue a directive to judges to require bail prior to release and conditions such as ankle bracelets for quarantine violators. Well, our understanding is that the law enforcement officers are sometimes reluctant to enforce the law because they feel that the, uh, the courts aren't actually putting visitors in jail or giving them the maximum fine. Chief Justice Rechtenwald responded in a letter saying bail must be set on an individualized basis consistent with constitutional and statutory requirements which do not authorize bail schedules. To Mayor Caldwell, the letter states lawmakers have received reports that the city has avoided addressing concerns of non-compliance and request enforcement on quarantine orders be a priority. Senator De La Cruz says officials are working with hotels and rental car companies, but part of the problem is the use of illegal vacation rentals. To date, DPP has not issued any violations for illegal short-term rentals. So if we know that that's a loophole, we really need the city to crack down on that. In a letter to the senators, Mayor Codwell says the airport should be where effective enforcement begins and all visitors should be staying at traditional hotels, not vacation rentals. Codwell says they should not be allowed out of the airport unless it is verified that they are staying in a traditional hotel. What we want to make sure is that those who committed perjury because they lied on the information that they provided at the airport and they're violating the quarantine, that the city really do its best to help and enforce it. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.